Alzheimer's impacts half of all black families. HSC is investing in a new research study to find out why. To join, please visit blackalzbrainstudy.com or call 817-735-2963. It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know, and today is Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. Number one, the investigation into Donald Trump's role in the 2020 Georgia election is ramping up. Last month, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis announced a criminal investigation to determine whether the former president illegally interfered in attempts to overturn his Georgia loss. Fulton County's first black female DA has announced her office is examining charges against Donald Trump, including solicitation of election fraud, the making of false statements, and racketeering. Number two. President Joe Biden marked International Women's Day by signing two executive orders aimed at advancing equality for women, particularly women of color. One order will form a gender policy council, which will focus on fighting systemic bias and discrimination. And in response to the pandemic's disproportionate effect on women, the council will work to foster economic security by decreasing wage and wealth gaps and breaking down barriers for women. Number three, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released new guidelines Monday for people who have been fully vaccinated against the coronavirus. The CDC website states vaccinated people can visit other vaccinated people indoors without mask or physical distancing and visit indoors with unvaccinated people from a single family. This group is also advised to wear a mask and practice physical distancing around those who are unvaccinated and at a high risk of contracting severe COVID-19. Number four, Matthew Russian, a 22-year-old autistic black man, is scheduled to be released from Nottoway Correctional Center March 29th with a partial pardon. Russian was originally ordered to serve out 10 out of 50 years for malicious wounding and a hit-and-run collision. After a Change.org petition, Governor Northam of Virginia granted a partial pardon, allowing Russian to be released with parole for five years. Number five. There's a new lawsuit against the franchise McDonald's, alleging it pushed one of its black franchisees out of numerous locations with corporate practices that amounted to racial discrimination. Former Oakland A's player Herb Washington, who once owned 27 locations, claims that he was pressured to sell several of his stores to white franchisees. Meanwhile, 77 black former franchisees who represent 300 restaurants have filed a case as well. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Worrying is like preparing for something bad that may never happen. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with J. Anthony Brown as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilks.com. Be informed, be empowered.